Bacterian Lake. I Ryan <laughs> So the first thing you should know is this is not the version at Six Flags America. This is the version at Darien Lake. And now this is a really fun ride, I'd say. So when you enter the cube, you'll, you'll see this like red lines and stuff. I think as like a Superman symbol when it was Superman, but I don't know. That's just a weird fact about the ride. Yeah. And they do have the test seat, I remember. They do have the test seat out front, and the red mm -hmm. stuff is from when... Six Flags owned Darien Lake, and it was called Superman Ride of uh -huh. Steel, but now Six Flags sold it, so it's just Ride of Steel. Mm -hmm. So they had to change some of the theming. Yup. And this does not have virtual reality, just to note. Nope. So, you'll get in your row, you'll turn, go up the left hill, and the left hill, I actually found it to be kind of slow. Mm -hmm. And... It's because that, because it feels like just a really long piece of strip, like you're a tiny car going up this humongous left hill, and it's just slow. But then you'll plunge down the drop, and then you'll go into this massive airtime hill. This one's the biggest, but not my favorite, actually. So then you'll go into a ginormous helix, second favorite part of the ride, that helix. Holy cow, I was blown away with how intense that helix there was. Then you'll go into the strength section, which is weird for most people, but I like the strength section. It's a good part of the ride. Then you'll go into the smaller floater airtime hill. And that's my favorite part. You really just float out of your seat. Then you'll go into a smaller helix that isn't as intense. Then you'll go into the small ejector airtime hills where you really eject out of your seat. Like it's crazy ejector airtime. How many of those? Is there three in a row? Three, three yeah. in a row at the end. Really good ones. Really though. good. That's one of my favorite parts. Yep. Then you'll walk out and go into the gift shop. Yeah, when the ride's over, you exit out through a gift shop. They got some nice stuff uh -huh. in there. It's one of the two rides here that have pictures. Yeah, there's only two. Only two. Ride of Steel so. and, and Viper. Viper. The only two at Darien Lake to do pictures. Uh huh. So overall, I think it's a really good ride. I'd give it a nine in the front or middle, and then a nine and a half in the back. Good ride. A lot of really airtime, though. A lot of fun airtime. Huge. On a lot of fun airtime. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I agree. You know I, I love airtime. The first drop is really good. Uh-huh. Really big. Really good first big drop, but that airtime throughout the ride is really good. Really good. If I can give people a hint, if you're taller like me, you should try to sit in the front of the car as you have a little bit more leg room. I found the one times when we ride in the back of the cars... The car, each car fits four people, two in the front, two in the back, mm -hmm. and the back of the cars aren't as roomy for your legs as the front. So if yeah. you're a tall person, get up front. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you think of Superman rides still out there in the grass still outside. Still <laughs> outside.